Hi there, this is Audrey Kirshner and welcome to Incoma's Marketing Strategies. And this is February's 2023 marketing news. Um, so if you are a listener of the podcast, um, this one also has video associated to it. Um, and you can see all of that on the Incoma YouTube channel. So definitely go check it out. I got a couple of slides. I'm going to be showing you some things. So um, a little more engaging than just the audio, but I try to explain everything then showing as well so that you can just listen to the audio. And to this, this month, I'm going to be talking a lot about AI. Um, so I've got some cool new things for you there, as well as some traditional good old um, email and social media combining type of stuff. So little something for everybody um, this month, for sure. So we're going to start off with some high tech or high tech. Um, in the tech world, it's, it's, it's pretty revolutionary. It's chat GPT. Um, you've probably seen articles, heard people mention it um, all over YouTube and everywhere else. It's kind of like got a buzz going on about it right now um, because so many people signed up for it so fast. And it's, I actually think it's pretty amazing. But when I am talking to folks, a lot of the stuff I hear is, you know, um, you know, what is it? What does it do? Um, and how can I use this for my business? I hear that a lot when I talk to business owners and we start talking about this this new ch technology. And and here's one of the reasons why. So I've just brought up a screenshot of ChatGPT. So when you go and you sign up for an account and you look at it, it doesn't look like much. Not a lot of bells and whistles. Kind of like what happened when Google first came on the scene, right? Not a lot of bells and whistles, just a box for you to throw some stuff into. So here's how I like to explain it to non-technical folks. It is artificial intelligence. I think it's the closest thing we have at the moment to real artificial intelligence, and it's the best one out there, in my opinion. And so don't think of it like it's a search tool. Think of it as it is a subject matter expert that you're sitting across from. In, in whatever it is that you want to talk about. And you're going to have a conversation with them. You're going to start by asking them a simple question, and then they're going to give you some information back with some context around it. You're going to understand and digest that, and then you're going to ask a deeper question, and then you're going to get more detail into that topic with this expert. And you can keep going on and on and on for as long as you like until you get to the bottom of this and you actually have an understanding of whatever it is that you're talking about. So it, it is far, far different from search. And so about um, talking about businesses, I think that this has the potential to be a really great business tool for both small and medium and large sized businesses um, if you know how to use it the right way. And so no one is an expert right now on chat GPT. It's too new. Um, but um, those of us that understand and like playing with stuff like this can figure it out. And so what I'm going to start doing now is go on a journey and then share that journey with you, my listeners, my viewers, on how we can start using chat GPT for small business. Because I don't think this is going away. They're constantly updating it. It's an incredible tool to use. And I think it could be a really, really great resource, um, just like I thought Google search was in the very beginning. And now fast forward and nobody can live without Google search. So um, as I start diving into these topics, I'm going to share my findings on the podcast as well as on the Marketing Masterminds YouTube channel, because there, there's definitely going to have to be some here's how you do this and here's how you do that type of thing. Um, and one of the first ones I think I'm going to explore because I see a lot of information out there about it right now, is writing, having it write blog articles for you. Sounds pretty simple, but it's not, right? I did some preliminary testing, and it did okay with the writing. Everything kind of sounded okay. But what I'm seeing in the industry is people are worried about originality and plagiarism, that the content is not completely original. Um, and so that's what I'm going to explore first and go through. And the reason why I'm starting with that is because if you remember, in the January marketing update, I talked about what Google was doing to kind of combat some of this um, um, 
scraping of content, the non-original content, basically using tools like ChatGPT, not, not it itself, but there's other tools out there that are AI writing tools um, that you can use. And they're going to start um, really coming down on sites that are using this type of content regularly by not making it searchable and then uh, either de-indexing or pushing the site down in search because it finds this. And Google said they have the technology to know that this software is there. And I know they do because that technology is available um, to the rest of us, to me. Like I can go and check and see if content has been plagiarized, how original it is um, today, just, you know, with a, a web search. So um, stay tuned for more content about ChatGPT. And so the next thing I want to talk to you about is one of my favorite tools. If you listen to any of the podcasts is Canva, right? It is a great small business marketing tool. You can use it for all sorts of content creation. Um, and now what they've done is they've added what they call the magic tool, right? And they do magic writing. And it is a similar AI to where you can give it some uh, context and it's going to write some copy for you. So what I think it's really good for right now at this moment are headlines for email, social media, digital ads, and then copy for ads, social posts, um, maybe some parts of the article because of what I just mentioned, and of course, video outlines or podcast outlines. So if you're doing any type of creation, um, starting with a blank sheet of paper is extraordinarily hard, right? Unless you've got it half in your head and you're, it's trying to find its way out of your fingers, you might need a little help. And these type of tools are helpful. Now, I would say that um, in my initial discoveries is that Magic Tool isn't quite as good as a chat GPT, only because Magic Tool, I believe, is using the API version of chat GPT, which is a couple versions or maybe more than a couple versions behind the uh, web browser-based version of chat GPT. Because like I said, they're updating that constantly. And um, the API is always a little bit behind. So I do expect the magic tool to get better. And if you feel more comfortable working inside of a tool you already know, like Canva, then I would start with that before you go and play around with ChatGPT because you kind of already have it. You just open a document, click that plus, plus button, select magic right, and it's going to give you all the prompts of kind of how to use it a little bit and then it puts the copy there and then if it's something you want to use it's very easy to pull that into a design so if you're trying to come up with a headline for a social post that you want to put on top of an image to kind of make a meme you can do that very very easily okay so for the last part let's switch some gears and go back to old-fashioned um, social media and email subscriptions um, I just recently released a new video on the Marketing Masterminds YouTube channel called How to Use Social Media to Get More Email Subscribers. And this video has quickly become a fan favorite to those that are subscribed to the newsletter, subscribed to the channel. And so I thought I would mention it here in the podcast um, because what I start out by talking about is helping you understand why you want anybody that's following you intently on social media you want to have that conversation with them in your email or someplace else, right? Not just in social media. And I go over why. And then I walk you through all the things that you need in order to make this happen. <clears throat> um, landing pages, videos, why images, why not images. And then I walk you through what it looks like on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn. And then I show you what it looks like on Facebook too. Um, so definitely go check that out if you are using social media, but you're thinking about email or you're using email and you want to get more subscribers. It's a good way to kind of pull people in um, to consume your content for sure. OK, so that is it for February. Um, if you haven't already, please go sign up for the Marketing Masterminds newsletter. I think you will like it a lot. Um, each newsletter that goes out has a theme. Um, I'll pick a topic and then there will be a video about that topic. Typically a video is kind of what drives when they, what the subject is of what it goes out. But then I pair it with articles and podcast episodes to give you a more well-rounded understanding, whatever that topic is. So it's not just 
one piece of content. It's usually um, two to three to help you with that, you know. Um, so you can, um, there's a QR code on the page for those that are listening. Um, if you are only listening, go check at, out the uh, show notes on uh, Incoma.com. That's I-N-K-Y-M-A.com. Um, because I always put a link to it in there. Sign up and then we'll push all of that to your inbox um, so that you can learn more about all the great stuff happening out there in marketing. And then, of course, like I said earlier, following my journey with um, the chat GPT discovery. So thank you so much for watching, for listening, for participating. And I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing February. Bye.